Olympus cameras are great for video. In this part 1 video of best video settings for Olympus I go through the basic settings. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so yet, so you won't miss any videos in the future. And if you want, press that bell too, so, that, so you get noticed when there's a new video online. My channel is all about you getting a better photographer. As I said, this is the part one of the two videos that I'm gonna make about the video settings in Olympus. In this one I will go through the basics and the next one is going to be more advanced and, and some tips and tricks on doing video with Olympus cameras. Popularity of the video has been growing in recent years. The reason for that is that most cameras and phones have very very good video features. And video has also become a big part of professional photographers work. We are, most of us are now also videographers nowadays. And also the enthusiast and hobbyist have taken video more seriously. They do a lot of video and they do a lot of photographs. And 4K is the new black. Are you making videos? And if you are, what kind of videos are you making? Please tell me in the comments down below. As I said, most Olympus cameras are very good video cameras too. There are several Olympus cameras that can shoot video in 4K. Or actually it's called Ultra HD to be exact. The cameras are OMD EM1 Mark II, OMD EM10 Mark III, the new Pen EPL9, and then there are two cameras from the Tough series, the TG5 and the TG Tracker. All the other recent models that Olympus has launched have a very good full HD. Especially the EM5 Mark II is great for video. If you, if you don't need 4K, then go for the EM5 Mark II. It has a very good full HD features in it. If you want a full potential of 4K with Olympus camera, then I would definitely go with the EM1 Mark II. For more casual video shooting, the other models will do fine. EM1 Mark II can shoot 4K and Ultra HD. 4K is 4096 times 2160 and the aspect ratio 17 to 9. So it will be cropped a little bit when using on a full HD or Ultra HD timeline. This video was shot in 4K and the Ultra HD resolution is 3860 by 2160. And the aspect ratio is the, the traditional 16 to 9. The same as full HD. And the frame rates are in 4K you can do only 24 frames per second. But in Ultra HD you have options, 24, 25 and 30. And with the EM1 Mark II you can shoot Full HD, 50p or 60p. The faster frame rates in Full HD can be used to make the motion in the, in the frame a little smoother. And you can also make some slow motion. The slow motion effect from let's say like 50p to 25p is not that great. But it can make the motion a little smoother. So that's worth a try. Turning the mode dial to this position, where you have a picture of a camera, your camera is now on video mode. You start the video recording by pressing the red button on top of the camera. The video settings can be changed in the video menu. From the mode settings you can set the default setting for video. You can set for aperture priority, shutter priority, program or manual. I almost always use manual mode to, to do my exposure and also use a fixed ISO. It's easier in post when you have a consistent exposure all around from your video. It's pretty hard to change the exposure in post. By using the manual mode you get very consistent exposure in your video. I almost always use a shutter speed that is half of the frame rate. So if I shoot 25p I will use 1 50th of a second and if I use 50p then I will use 100th of a second. And if I use 4K like now 24 frames per second I will be using 1 48th of a second. This setting comes from the history of film cameras where they used to have a fixed shutter that was always half of the frame rate that they were shooting. It's so called 180 degree shutter. The reason that we still use it is just, is just because we have been used to seeing the motion the way the 180 degree shutter is recording the motion in the picture. But of course you can vary this a little bit but if you make it too short or very fast actually is the right word. The movement isn't really that smooth. And of course if you make it longer the motion might be a little blurry. But that's that's up to you what you use. But I always use the 180 degree shutter rule. As I said I use manual all the time. But sometimes it might be useful to use shutter priority. Especially if you go from outside inside and the light changes drastically. It might be worth trying if that makes it easier. 
Unfortunately, auto ISO cannot be used while the camera is in video mode, but there is a workaround. You can set the camera for manual, set your exposure and, and, and uh, f-stop according to the light that there is in the scene, and then set the camera to auto ISO and start recording while your camera is in manual mode. Press the red button and then, voila, you can have the auto ISO working with video. Uh, the aperture can be changed in the live control panel, and I will talk about that live control a little bit later. Let's check out the video menu in, in EM1 Mark II. In the specification menu you can set parameters to your video. There are seven default settings that can be changed if you want. But those settings are a very good start. And I don't think that I have changed those parameters that there already are. Those work pretty fine. You can find any different combination that you need from the default settings in the settings menu. And if you like, you can set the noise filter here for low, normal or hard. It depends on your liking. I usually have it off and if there is too much noise in the video, I use noise reduction in post-production. The picture mode in this menu is a topic in the video, in the part 2 video. The next option is AF slash IS and this is quite important. Choose MIS2 for stabilization in your video. It turns off the digital stabilizer and the picture quality is a lot better if you have the digital stabilization turned off. And also the stabilization is a lot more natural when the di digital stabilization is turned off. You can use EM1 Mark II handheld when doing video. In the button slash dial level settings you can set all the buttons to your likings when shooting video. And here is also an option to make the shutter button work as a trigger to start the video in video mode. I don't usually use it but uh, it's, it's a handy way and it's, it's a matter of uh, getting used to. And, uh, and, but, but good thing is that you can customize your Olympus quite a lot. Electronic zooms are really handy in video. And in the menu you can set the zoom speed. To your liking. And Olympus has two MZUIGO lenses that have electronic zooms 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens electronic zoom and then the 12 to 50 millimeter electronic zoom. I actually tested the 12 to 50 millimeter electronic zoom lens and made a video about it. In the display menu settings, there are a couple of handy features. From here, you can turn the control panel on so you can use it also during video shoots. In the info settings, you can choose what information is displayed on the EVF while you're shooting video. I will talk about the time code in the next video. Display pattern can be changed to minutes instead of percentage. And I think minutes is a lot more useful while doing video shoot. You know how much time you have left in the battery. Sound options can be changed here. I mentioned one very important thing. Some microphones need power from the camera and here you can set the plugging power on. So you can use for example these kind of mics that do not have any battery. They take the they take the electricity from the camera, so turn the plug-in power on. Without the plug-in power on, you, not, you cannot use this mic. With the live control, you can adjust different settings during recording. Especially the ability to adjust the audio levels is a very good feature. And everything is done from the touch screen, so there won't be any noise and you won't ruin your audio. Other things you can control from live control are ISO, headphone volume, shutter speed, f-stop and the audio levels as I mentioned. And you can also zoom with the electronic zoom if you have one attached to your body. All these settings were from Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. Please go to my blog and see what settings are different in other Olympus cameras. I will post the link down below in the description of this video so you can click it and read my blog post about it. And next Tuesday I will go deeper into some of the settings. This was the 18th episode of Using Olympus. Thanks for watching and bye for now.